So I was in the northern part of Ghana, Tamale, and I was told there was one man doing wonders in the region. He is bringing hope to the people in the northern part of Ghana, especially to the kids and the youth. My name is Ibrahim Mahama. I'm a visual artist. I come from Tamale where I live currently. And um, uh, I produce these kinds of large scale installations. I've, I've worked internationally. Um, currently we're at Red Clay Studio, which is my studio. I started building it in 2015, but the idea was to open it up to a much more bigger context and audience. So we have airplanes, trains, studio spaces, exhibition spaces, where we just entertain the idea of like uh, kids coming here to learn about art and culture and history, things like that. So over the years, the northern part of Ghana has been left idle. No proper development in these three regions, which is Upper East, Upper West, and the northern region itself, which is Tamale. But these regions also contribute a lot to the economy of Ghana. Mr. Mahama is changing the narrative or the mindset of his people by having this place called Red Clay, which is being made like a museum where people in the northern part of Ghana can visit to see things they have never witnessed with their eyes before. Because until traveling to the capital city or on telly, they are things that those in the rural areas will never see in their lives. So he has managed to gather some old trains and airplanes to his village to teach and to show the kids and the youth in the region for them to have a better idea or knowledge about how train and plane works. This is really beautiful and inspiring at the same time. In a company called General Motors, you see the car as design. Mm -hmm. The Chevrolet. Yes. Uh -huh. It was made in the same, like the same, the, the same company that makes those cars. GM. GM. Yes. So the when you have, it's like the airplane. The one uh, Rolls Royce might be making the engines, mm -hmm. and then uh, another company in India might be making something. So all the parts come from very different companies, very like specialities. Sometimes the material that they need to produce it is coming from one specific place that they need to yeah. produce it, or maybe that company is specialized and no one else can make it unless them. Exactly. Uh huh. So they assemble all these parts from around the world and then they build on something. Mm -hmm. You get it. So I personally first heard his name the day before I went to Tamale and it was on the news that Mr. Ibrahim Mahama has bought the oldest train in Ghana and trust me I mistook him for a different person because we have a different person also called Ibrahim Mahama which is prominent in Ghana and one funny thing is that on the way going to Tamale I saw this old train that the person has bought on the trailer going to Tamale and I even did a video about it not knowing the person I was going to meet in Tamale owns this train. So I saw in the news yesterday that uh, uh, first this business business um, tycoon, Mr. Mahama, has bought the oldest train in Ghana and I'm heading towards Tamale and I'm just seeing this cargo or truck, yeah, having this train on board. You see this train? They had cut the whole train into pieces. So you see this? They had cut it into pieces, so you see all the thing. So I had to buy it from the scrap dealers, and I paid them, and then we got welders, the same welders, and they welded the whole train back together. Wow. <laughs> uh -huh. Amazing. Uh -huh. So the whole train was cut into pieces. So I have a video of them welding the train back together. Yeah, you can see the joints. But the interesting there. thing is that because of the way they were welding it, sometimes you never know whether they are cutting or putting it together. But it's interesting poetry for mm -hmm. us. Okay. You get this? It's po poetically, it's very interesting. Do you know what poem are? My read poems. Yes. Uh, when you read a poem, sometimes it doesn't make sense immediately. Yes. It, it, it causes you to think. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, the technique that we use in doing this is a form of poetry. Uh -huh. Why would you go through the trouble of buying an old train which they think is not important? The whole state thinks it's not important. Mm -hmm. But you will then now piece it together and then put it on the track and transport it from a car all the way here. Like as I saw on the road coming. Yeah, like all these mm -hmm. trains that we brought here. No, I'd be forgetting how much I bought them for. Yeah. The transportation for these trains alone was like uh, 400,000 cities. Wow. wow. Just the transportation. Wow. Yeah, without buying it, just the transportation alone. Wow. Because each of the trucks that brought the train, one of them at least was like 30,000, 25 to 30,000. Some of them even almost 40,000. Because of the weight, yeah. Yeah. One of these trains is as heavy as, let's say, uh, 50,000 kilos. Yeah. So let's go inside and see the other stuff he has inside the building as well. What's your name? My name is Labaran. Labaran, okay. Yes. Um, can you please explain to me the, the meaning of this and why these shoemaker boxes? Okay, so um, this work is done by Ibrahim Mahama. Okay. Yeah, so it's titled Non Orientables on Cancer. Uh, sorry? Non Orientables on Cancer. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. So he's been collecting these shoemaker boxes from individual shoemakers um, since 2013. Ooh, since 2013? Yes. Wow, almost 13 yes. years. Yes. So um, he collected them from those 
from the Zungu community. This is okay. Accra. Yes, so he collected over 4,000 of these boxes. Wow. Yes. So, wow. He done, um, so he had the opportunity to have access to a paint company called Gihok. Gihok, okay. Yes, so when they were working on some of these boxes, uh, so they found these abandoned woods okay. which were used in the construction of that um, company. Okay. Yes. So he, uh, they give it out to him. Okay. So also. they added it in oh, making okay. these works. Okay. Yes. But so what, what design is it? What, like what does it simplify? What what, what does it mean? Yeah, so it signifies labor. Labor. Yes. So okay. Back in the when um, young youth from the north here moved to the uh, south. South. Okay. Yeah. To search for jobs when they aren't getting jobs this was their means of um, employment so they okay. go in for these old rules which they use in making these shoemaker boxes wow four thousand uh, four thousand pieces wow and i was told that he, he, he when he takes the old one he gives you the he gives you the new one yes wow yes. so some of them he made new ones for the shoemakers so, so, okay. and connected the old one wow so all these fire armories were found in the paint factory. Okay, for the paint factory, okay. So wow. we added some of the tools that they used to work with. I like we the broom. Okay. Yes. Uh, ah, he took everything. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. We have the um, pan Okay, yeah, the, yeah. In stitching. Uh, the, 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 yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So this simplifies labor. Yeah, labor. Wow. We have this. Work to okay. which is a photograph. Okay. So the artist Ibrahim had a work that has to do with this jute sacks. Okay, the sacks. So, yeah. Yes. So he collected these jute sacks from Meket women. Okay. So normally when these jute sacks are being used to bag cocoa, the cocoa and all those stuff. Those grains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later on they are being used to bag charcoal. Charcoal is exactly. dirty and they can't be used anymore. anymore. So whether they, they are being bent or being discarded. Okay. So the artist collected these jute sacks. So he he employed these um, head potters okay. in Accra who okay. were helping to stitch these, them together. Uh, jute sacks together. So he covered huge buildings in Milan. Oh really? Uh, in Milan and in, in, in Kumasi. Okay. In tech. Tech. Okay. So he had one in Tech also. So when they were working on it, he found out that uh, most of this headquarters has tattoos on their arms yeah so these tattoos here were the, the names of their relatives yeah. their self and the places that they are from okay yes. so just in case just something, in case something, something happens. happens to them on their journey to the place or they are there and anything happens they can easily use that to to know where the person is from oh, okay. so wow. it was more like an id I, okay so those days uh, the locals weren't educated enough to get id cards. id card yeah and that time to cell phones were in that it's, exactly part of the world. it's just like so, uh, up to now when you, you might meet an old lady yes you ask the, uh, the date of birth you say it doesn't know it doesn't know. Uh, and some of them they can go to the trade and they will remain at the trade Center okay. capital for long, for long, so that come back, come old, and they even forget their the, the roots. So that helps in so they, they identifying them. them. Wow, wow. wow. Yes. And here we have this metallic tool, which is normally found on um, the shoemaker box. Yes, on the shoemaker box, yeah. but it's normally found in motorbikes. Okay. okay. So the shoemakers normally use it to beat the box to okay. create awareness. Yeah. Okay. So this shoemaker box doesn't really serve as. Um, toolbox where they keep their materials in, okay. but also a drum okay. where they normally beat it to create awareness. awareness okay. So even sometimes when they are roaming fine customers, they use this means as form of entertainment. Ka -ka -ka. So Making noise. Yeah. Wow. Maria Fuseni Awabu. Awabu Fuseni. So these particular names are typical Dagumba names. Dagumba names. Yes. So okay. those who really know names or who, who knows the names of the, the tribes can kind of tribes can okay. easily identify. identify that Fuseni, Fuseni is a local name in Dagban. D Dag okay. And we have Awabu. Yes, the old people in the north here use it a lot. A lot, okay. Wow. Oh, okay. Yes. And Mariama. Oh, okay. So this is the man behind the whole idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So one quick question. So what what what, what came like what what made the, the whole idea beside this project? 
Oh, this project, project here, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's more like a studio complex. Okay. Uh, I started building it in 2015. Okay. Because I just wanted a place where I could make my work as an artist. Okay. And also possibly it could inspire maybe a new generation, generation. of artists. Oh, okay. Yeah. But quickly, I came to realize that there was a lot of potential around yeah, it. Okay. And I started investing into it, like trying to expand it, collecting objects with based on the history they were coming from, from okay and then trying to place them here hence the trains and all that and i even started thinking about bringing the trains here even before building this place wow. but it took almost 10 years to get the trains here wow. yeah almost 10 years to acquire them so um yeah but i kept pushing because of the histories that the trains came from okay and all that, uh, in relation to like commodity exploitation things yeah, like yeah, that yeah. yeah so here it only allows for like children to come to have a, uh, view. Have a view of like history okay. of art both in the contemporary modern and also like traditional context things With, like that yeah. yeah and technological forms and forms, all that. Okay. because if you're trans if you are turning airplanes into classrooms and all that how does it allow for another generation to think about uh, exactly. yeah, being and things like that so those are the questions that i'm, I'm asking yeah, actually, okay. it's not necessarily a solution but i'm trying to pose questions which i think can uh, develop new yeah new ideas and new forms of thinking in okay. the future Man, this is a huge kind of uh what do you call it like inspirational kind of project and uh it's it's really beautiful to to have a young man like this to have this kind of thoughts uh, for the next generation also even this current generation that we have us uh he just made a comment that this kid there are lots of them that haven't seen train before because they've born here if not been to the southern part and uh even like, the older people <laughs> yeah exactly. were coming so strange a lot of people saw them but they didn't know what they were really and a lot of them they, if you see gr ghana railway corporation yeah which comes from the gold coast railway what would you you've never you don't even know yeah, it so exactly you, yeah yeah but now that it's here when you see it it, it leaves an imprint yeah, in your it, mind exactly uh -huh. so for me that is very important yeah. just the idea of the imprint it's, now yeah. somehow it has um uh, it somehow generated a new form of interest okay. and also it has demystified the objects in the history that okay. it's coming from so it's not as if the history is left to a certain yeah, yeah. now we all have the history now what do we do with it okay. and also uh, when you want uh, the thing about memory sometimes is also that we think that memory is only only has to do with places where something happened yeah. but I think that memory can also be uh, can be implanted exactly. in the minds of people. Exactly. The fact that it didn't happen doesn't mean, mean it doesn't mean that we don't have that. Memory. Exactly. Yeah, so for exactly. me, those are very important. Exactly. I think that's even when it is much more radical. Yeah. Because then you can play with it, and then you can even add fiction and all kinds of other things. Wow. So like seeing this old old story, like I was asked, what's the challenging? Like how how are you to like to what do you call import all this old stuff? <laughs> because <You don't> know. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm eager to know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> They were used in pulling box sides, okay. box uh, manganese and other things. Okay. Uh, mines. Okay. Uh, this is a crane. Okay. Used in England in the early 1920s. Okay. And um, yeah, do you know in the a crane here? Yeah. Do you know what a crane is? You see, sometimes when they when they have to pick something up, there's a machine that has a long arm. Mm -hmm. Then they will reach, it will come out, and then it will pick that thing. Maybe high up. Uh, like a high up. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. But this one, they are used in factories normally, and it lies on the building, so it moves from one place to the other. They're using it to uh, repair the trains and other things. It was in Secondi, where the British built the largest railway workshop mm. in West Africa. Mm. You know, so recently they sold it to scrap dealers, and I bought it from the scrap dealers. Really? And then I brought it to. We are going to build a building with it. These things are the springs in the train, yeah. the, 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 the legs, the, the boogies. Uh -huh. Train managing the British man. Moment, we didn't hear the shock absorbers. So we didn't bring the legs of this train because the, it was too big. So the, here is a different room. Yes. So this is an archive space. Archive space. Okay. So we have this jet engine. Okay. Which jet. was donated to the institution by Ibrahim Mama. Okay. Your mama's brother. Okay. okay. So you know the artist's name is also. Is called it, Ibrahim it, it, are they related? Yes. No, they are not related. They're, they're not. Yes. Okay. They just use the same the name. Okay. But they are not related. related. So most people do confuse the uh, with the name. Yeah, so they think that this space belongs to the oh, okay. president brother. Okay. Okay. So he and the artist met some couple of months ago. They had one or two uh, discussions. Yeah. He's been hearing of the kind of works that um, the artist Ibrahim has been doing down here in the north. So he was interested to um, really contribute to the work. 
So he decided to donate some uh, engine mass. Okay. And his uh, private jet pass. Okay. So we have here the um, engine where we display it to um, teach case of how oh, the engine runs or how the plane is able to survive or maintain the air. Wow. So Ar archive room. You can see that power and everything. So here we have the old gramophone. Yeah, the gramophone. A power. Yeah, in the 80s, the yeah. 70s. Chuk, 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 chuk. Yeah. Wow. Up there we have this old smoke. Smokes, okay. Yes. These smokes, most of them are over 100 years. Wow. Yes. So he collected these smokes, most of them from chiefs. Okay. Some from uh, the locals in the village. The old people. Yes. So. Most of these smokes, um, he collected them from the chief. So when they were to give it to him, they had to perform certain rituals, rituals them okay. because they believed that they are being passed on their, um, uh, their, uh, their blessings, uh, their blessings it's, it's, yeah. and powers to him if they give it, give out, it out freely to him like that yeah, because yeah. they have been wearing it. So there is kind of connection exactly. with their smokes. So exactly. they had to perform that. Some of them had to pee on it. So the wow. artist was like, oh, I'm interested that you can do that and hand it over to me. Wow. It's a part of the wow. craft. So um, after that, he got them in here. Yes. So the cottons that they were using to make the fabric for these ones were locally made here. Okay. So it's kind of different from the ones that they are now producing, producing. in China and different parts of Europe. Okay. And here we have more invoices okay. from the French factory. Okay, okay. the York. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So archive room, and I can see the trumpets and uh, everything. Like Wow, so yeah. this smokes and food. This interesting jewelry box. Okay, so we have some of the Ashanti, um, the stool, stool, the okay. some of the their symbols, symbols okay. encrypted on them. Oh, yes, so these bed. ones were made in the 80s and the 70s. So this tells us the level of craftsmanship of those, um, and they were made, they were made in Ghana. Yes, wow, yes. so they used to store. Uh, jewelry jewelry's inside, okay. Yes. So it's made in a treasure, yeah, treasure box, yeah, treasure box. Yes, maybe if you have your diamond ring, put it inside and cover it. cover it without anyone to find it. <laughs> wow. Wow. <coughs> Amazing. Wow. It is a different engine. Yeah, engine yeah. Different engine. Like for smaller. Yeah. So aircraft. this propeller is um, made in bamboo. Bam bamboo, okay. Yeah, so that's bamboo sticks. Wow. So this one was made in Czech Republic Czech, okay. in 1991. Okay, recent. Yes. So this is the box where it goes in. So the artist decided to mount it. Okay, okay. okay. So to show. You can have a proper, proper view. Yeah, proper view. So here we have the old OI. Yeah, right. okay. okay. Yes. So this one contains five holes. Yes. And we have the um, legendary scale. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the where, famous one where we're known for <laughs> weighing of yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. We have the um, the blacksmith fire uh, okay. torch which was used to melt ornaments. Okay. And we have the uh, stove which was used um, by the military okay. and those who normally find themselves camping, oh, camping in the okay. forest. Okay. We have the old hunter's lamp. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one is broken. Okay. Wow. Wow, so basically it's like more like a museum. Yes, yes. So yeah. it's an art museum. This iron yes. box. Yeah, iron box. Wow. And we have the, the, the military, military hats. Yeah. Yes. So these hats were worn by the military okay. to serve the, their, their role, yeah. whether in, in war or... It should, it should be on any <laughs> yeah, time of the day. Any time, yeah. yeah and so it's made of iron. Okay, yeah, yeah you can hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. So, just imagine um, having a quarrel with a military man. Well, he slaps you with it. <laughs> <laughs> so all these objects too were found in the Nkrumah family. Okay, this is a police yes, kind of, yes. yeah. So the constructors back then used to wear this one. So yeah. it's made of fiber. Okay. Yes, we, we found this Coca-Cola bottle. Yeah. This is the real Coca-Cola. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is the real Coca-Cola bottle. Yeah, Coca <laughs> wow. Get us a V-map. Yes, so map. Wow. We have the railway slippers. Yeah. What was that? The railway slippers. Yes. So we got this one from Takradi. Takradi. Okay. Yes. Okay. So um, they used the Europeans used to use it to create the pathway for the train. For the train. Okay. So this one is dating back uh, in uh, 
it's over 200 years wow two centuries wow yes. and these are scrolls which were made by the artists using leftover materials that they used in covering this space oh, okay so they used it in making these scrolls and these are old L lanterns. lanterns which were being formed to generate the lights, lights. Yes. Okay. so normally the locals down in the north here when they have this this um, local dance in the night, Torah, Bamaya in the night. Those days you can go to a whole village or a, or a village that uh, there are only three or two people having this. Okay. What they do, they, do, they do is that they normally go to borrow the nearby town, okay. the one who has it. So they bring it and then set it up. Then they use it to perform their crafts. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, different types of lantern. And this one is a mask. A mask? Yes, okay. which was designed by hunters. Okay. Yes, so they wear it like a cape and they wear the costume of the bed. To disguise themselves? Yes, to disguise them. So when they get near to the bed, the bed which neither does their colleague bed. They are <laughs> okay. using that technique to really uh, hunt those beds. And it was working for them. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Wow. So this is my generation. Yeah. yeah this yeah, is my this generation. Is the lantern. This one I wasn't born. This I wasn't born. This I was born. <laughs> and these ones too were mostly used by miners. Uh, the miners, okay. Yeah, so they use it in the mining area. Wow. So this the, box, the, the, this the military, one military gallon box. Military gallon. So yeah. this one too was found in the the, 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 the space. Uh, yes. Wow. <clears throat> A series of works that I did. Okay. In 2000 and. Uh, 15. Okay. It was called the Exchange Exchanger, Exchange. where I was looking at the history of the jute sacks. You know these jute bags? They are originally made in India and Bangladesh. Okay. And they are used to transport, uh, they, when they are brought to Ghana, they are used to transport cocoa. Cocoa and the, this. You know, in the farms yeah. in the south and all that. But it's used for transporting cocoa just once. And after that, they sell it to the middlemen because cocoa is such a big cash crop. You can use the same bag more than once. So when the bag also when they take it to the pot and they offload the beans into it, they sell the the left bag, the remaining bag to the middlemen, okay. the zamrama men, okay. and those will sell it to the market women. So they put onion, charcoal, corn. but eventually corn and others. Eventually, when they put charcoal in it. They can no longer put anything exactly. in it. Exactly. So you know, rather the market women because they travel and they write their names on their bodies and things like that, they transfer those onto the bag. Yeah. So I thought that the bag almost became like a body. You yeah. know, I'm sorry, but I see the way you have your hand is hurt. Yeah. When it heals, you see the mark yeah. on your hand. Exactly. So I almost thought that the the bag almost became like a, an extension of the body in a way. There was some kind of a scarification yeah. on exactly. it. Exactly. Uh -huh. So how do you relate the history of let's say? commodity exploitation, things like that, in relation to economics, in relation to like, let's say, a bag that is uh, scarred, yeah, yeah. in relation to architecture. Exactly. Because most of these buildings, like this particular one, there were all these modernist buildings that yeah. were built okay. back then, Kwame Nkrumah, yeah, yeah. and they were built with cocoa money. Uh -huh. So oh, you see the cycle now. Okay. And now, okay. the so money that was made out of cocoa, cocoa that we have the sack. Yeah. Now the sack, the empty vessel comes down. So it's almost as if the sack, we have joined a thousand together, and then we've now come to cover the whole building that it has the history of the cocoa, cool. things like that. Makes sense, makes yeah. sense, makes yeah. sense, makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Makes so, and sense. also when I'm doing it, I like to think about the relationship between the building, what the artwork, and then what the building is already. Okay. So here you realize that the building is covered with a jute sign. Yeah. And here, it's not covered. Yeah. So you realize that the students, yeah, you see everything, the, yeah. things hanging on the wall, things, uh, there are towels, singlets or whatever because the building was still like students hall yeah, yeah, yeah. and I had to negotiate in order to cover it exactly. and all that. Mm -hmm. and I covered all the buildings on the campus the mm -hmm. national theater other buildings well, I need to I need to I need to visit Kumasi yeah so I'll, I'll be going big... from here I'll go to Kumasi so okay. I'll, I'll find out yeah I'll find out yeah so wow. that's why and it was in the dry season okay. so you can see the buildings in yeah, the back yeah, very yeah. faintly yeah, and yeah. all that yeah so this was in 2015 Wow. It feels like a long time ago, like no, eight years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I was just starting my PhD at the time when I started this. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Brilliant. Brilliant. Big ups. So I told you about the Gihok company. Yeah, yeah, okay, yes, the so painting, okay. Yeah. Yes. So we had this um production orders. orders. Yes. So most of these other receipt papers were being um been bent. Okay. Some were being thrown away. Some two were given to food vendors. So to wrap to, to wrap plantain yeah, to and wrap plantain <laughs> and granite. Exactly. And yes, you know the yeah, yeah, Ghanaian. Yeah. Okay. So um, 
Here, the artist collected this one to work with. Okay. On this collage. Okay. Right? Some of them has their dates. Dating back in 1976. Wow. Yeah, some 78. 76. 80, I see 89. Yes. Wow. And no. Yes. Wow. So it shows the kind of um, production and the kind of orders that they were getting. Yeah. At that time. Yeah. So wow. this particular work talks about um, the labor, the kind of um, industries, and the kind of ideas that uh, Kwame Nkrumah had, had yes, the vision but. had for the nation and for the generations and the kind of businesses that he wanted to create and the employment level of the nation. Unfortunately, unfortunately, all this one. You didn't need to go there. You didn't need to go there. They used to chop go <laughs> oh, it's Like it's very sad. Yes. Wow, man, amazing, so amazing. They, they were never. Um, Finish or never continue by yeah, yeah. coming government. Exactly. The, the, the vision just died on the way like that. Man, I just found this play, uh, Red Clay. Why, why the name Red Clay? Yes, yeah, so. Um, it's because of the bricks. Yes. Because of the, the bricks. Name, uh, particularly, is from the bricks. Okay. Man, this is really inspiring and amazing and also beautiful to have a young man think about his generation and also doing something for his community. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If this is the first time watching, kindly subscribe, share, tell a friend, tell a brother. Cookie with Sindako from Tamale, northern part of Ghana. Let's do this again for Shizu Manizo from Red Clay, Ibrahim Mahama. Orokodo, I'm out.